hi guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel um coming to you guys looking a little bit rusty but this will do this will do um today i just wanted to do a q and a video about sister locks and i hope this will answer most of the questions that people have been asking um <laughs> disclaimer i'm not a loctician i'm not a hair specialist so these views are based on my experiences or my opinions and um, before you go install sister locks kindly just do your research very well before you get started so i did write a few notes with me that i'm just going to be referring to while i start the video so this is how my hair looks like at the moment i just clocked one year with sister locks by the way so these are they look like at the moment i just had my retie done about um three weeks yeah about three weeks ago i had a retie done so yeah this is still good enough to push me for quite some time so okay, so installing sister locks is one of the best decisions i really made been one year i just clocked one year with them and so far so good i really really love them and i find them very easy to maintain um you just spritz your water and you're good to go so anyways let's get started installation time so installation time this can take anywhere between 8 to 48 hours depending on the number of people that are doing your hair or depending on your hair volume so like myself i really 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 have a lot of hair i see i have hair coming to my forehead and you guys can see but i really really have a lot of hair so um mine took i think almost 50 hours um but then the problem with mine is that i was doing them in the evenings after work so i could do like two hours three hours every day after work so basically it took almost like three days or no, four days actually for installation and the first the first two days it's only one person who was working on my head but then after that because i now got a weekend and i could do it all so i had like four people working on my head yeah so installation takes about eight to 48 hours depending on how much hair you have and how many people are working on your head um price how much does it cost this actually really really depends on your loctician uh how much hair you have again the volume and so usually in kenya the costs range from ten thousand to around forty thousand so if you go to like those high-end places it's, it goes for around 40 45k you know? but anyways mine costed me fifteen thousand kenya shillings because it was still you know something that people are still trying to start it so yeah mine was 15,000 Kenya shillings but right now there are people who even install it with 10,000 that's the minimum I've had um, for 10,000 Kenya shillings but mostly get people doing it for 18 20 25k 30,000 around that much um, so what is the most weird stage of this the first six months the first six months of sister locks are just crazy because until your hair locks it looks like uh, it just looks very weird like you can't do nothing on it it's like they're not obeying you know your commands for them to like lay on one side um so yeah the first six months are a bit tricky because your hair is not like really fully locked so you still have like some loose ends on some parts of your hair so usually for the first six months are a bit weird and you have to be extremely careful for the first six months you just can't wash your hair anyhow that you want you always have to like um follow some instructions on when you want to wash your hair so basically the first six months you have to have your hair in uh, batches of matutas and then wash it while it's at that so that it doesn't like unravel then you have to start the whole process again and then um 
or how does the installation take place so if you go somewhere and somebody tells you they're going to install sister locks with wax sis that's a lie they don't use no wax to install sister locks so there are two two or three methods that i'd say that people use to install sister locks one is um the very simple one that people would do that is twists basically you just have like the small twists on your hair and then you let this grow out until they become shady and you can now start interlocking this and gradually they turn out to be locks that is one and then the second one that i know that i use is interlocking from the beginning so your hair is interlocked from like the roots going up so that's why you say um the time of installation really depends on the length of your hair because when i installed mine my hair was pretty short um but then it was very thick so yeah um how do you do your retires again this is how i do my retires so basically my loctician just uses a crochet to interlock my hair from the roots up so anytime i have any new growth she's just going to interlock it until it's nice and clean um faith has been doing my hair for now like since this year started and she's very convenient so i guess i'll also link her number on here and in case you need the services just call her the retie prices also depends on your hair your volume and your level of growth the new growth so if you call her you guys can always uh, discuss on how much she's going to charge you uh how long do you take to retire your hair so again for the past for the first six to yeah about like the first six months you are adi you're advised to retire in locks at least once a month and charges usually about two two thousand to five thousand kenya shillings so about after every two to three weeks you're advised to retighten your locks so that like it can lock properly and it doesn't unravel but after six months you can actually go four weeks to six weeks before you can retighten um and after that i think you can actually go for up to two months because as for my myself i go two months without retighting um yeah, so my loctician always retightens my hair after every two months. Um, charges for retightening uh, ranges from two to five thousand Kenya shillings. Some people may charge you higher, so really depends with who is doing your hair. Um, yeah, and then what is my daily routine? It's uh, very simple. I just simply spritz my hair every day or every other day with a combination of water rose water and an essential oil so usually i have a spray bottle and in this spray bottle i'll just mix my rose water i'll mix some black castor oil like very kidogo because black castor oil is very thick and then i just um yeah so just that rose water some essential oil and i'm just going to spritz this daily all my hair so this usually just gives it shape so when i sleep and they wake up and they're all everywhere i just like spritz spritz this really works for me yeah and then just style as desired so the times when I feel like my hair is a bit too dry and I need something strong or something more moist I usually use this soft soft and free it's a curl uh, let's see if it's going to focus yeah it's a curl moisturizing spray so usually I use this um, at least every other day when i just want to like moisten my hair so i spray with this there's also the um, rs rs olive oil yeah or rs spray that is also very good if you spray it on your hair and we also have the miyadi leave-in treatment so those three products so i have the soft and free this is my favorite and then there's the miyadi and the rs um spritz so daily i just spritz my hair in the morning style it as desired and then i'm good to go um yeah so the other thing that you need to note when you have sister locks is that you have to avoid oils as much as possible because they basically cause build up in your hair and you don't want this to weigh down your hair because um sister locks are pretty tiny let me try and see if i can move clothes so you see like this is one strand so they're pretty tiny so you don't want to yeah they're pretty tiny so you don't want to like have 
uh, a lot of oil build up in your hair using oil so most of the time we just if you just spritz you're good to go yeah so avoid a lot of oil in your hair um then there's always a sister lock shampoo that is recommended to avoid build up on your locks and if you can't access this sister lock shampoos you just advise to use any clarifying shampoo and swave 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 i hope that is the right pronunciation swave shampoo is usually um really good to detoxify and help you keep your hair like clean um the next thing are you able to braid your sister locks i guess but i've never really tried uh well so sometimes i just do like the normal you know like the normal um what do you call this like cornrows on my hair if i just want to style them but i've never added an extension to them so i just roll with this weird stage that i have and yeah that's basically it so you can style them however you want they're really easy to maintain once you've had your rita is in you just spritz with water and you're good to go there are several styles that are available that you can use when you want to like go out and rock your sister locks so yeah i think that's it so just in summary the price of installation it ranges from 10 to 40,000 Kenya shillings depending on your loctician and who is going to do it for you the length of your hair um, the course of your hair uh, the time of installation 8 to 48 hours some people might take longer so it might take even up to 50 hours depending on who is doing your hair um, uh, what else what else do we use wax no 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 we don't use no wax when installing sister locks and the most important thing is the grid Okay, yeah, the grid is important when you're installing your sister locks, but with time, as your hair gets more full, sometimes the grids tend to, like, it's not, like, visible when I'm walking like this, you can see the grids, but anytime somebody is doing a retie, you can always tell that there's some sort of, um, there's some sort of a pattern in my head. So, let's see. Yeah, so you can always tell that there's some sort of a pattern that goes on in here and yeah so um, i think that's it for sister locks it's nothing much um pretty simple in the morning just press with water um avoid oils heavy oils especially if you really really need to try and uh, do some oil maybe like two weeks before your next retie because you're going to wash and the best part of it is that once your hair is locked you can really actually just wash it anytime um, and you're good to go and you should also know that for the first three four months that the shrinkage is real I mean your hair will be that long You install your sister locks and they become that short and you look at yourself and you wonder like Yo, What happened to my hair? Because the shrinkage is real like your hair really really shrinks. But anyways, you move on regardless so it just gets to get better and yeah so so far that is how my hair looks like this is just one year since i did my installation yeah so that's it guys again thank you so much for the thousand subscribers so if you haven't subscribed yet